Hello and welcome to Wristwatch Obsession. I'm your host, Edgar, and today we're going to talk about and do a review of the Luminox ANU, or Authorized for Navy Used Dive Watch. Um, I really like this watch and I, I've wanted it for a long time. I, I had a store credit at a sporting, a local sporting goods store, a very large one. I carried the Luminox uh, line and I had, a, I had a big store credit. And I noticed online in their inventory uh, at the store that they had uh, this watch, uh, one left. And I said, um, I couldn't find it last time I was there. Can you find it? And they looked and looked, they couldn't find it. And then like a year later, I had um, another store credit. And, uh, and that was the nicest watch there. And I asked them to find it again. They never did find it. So I couldn't get my hands on it. And then when I had a, uh, a pretty good discount at a jewelry store that carried Luminox, um, they had this watch. I was able to pick it up. So I finally got the watch, and the, the reason why it grabbed my attention from the very beginning uh, was because of the sapphire crystal, which is kind of unusual on the on the Luminox line of watches. At least they're lower end, uh, you know, polycarbonate or fiberglass, reinforced polymer, or whatever their cases are, which are very strong. But it was also the back, man. I just felt I love uh, extra things on a watch, especially on a back. Uh, if there could be something interesting or different like the uh the sea monster that's on the omega sea master uh, professional series um there's so many watches that have really nice uh, backs on them here's another uh here's another uh stainless steel luminox that has a nice you know it's got the trident it's got the navy seal or special ops type logo which is uh a pistol as you can see and it has the trident and the golden eagle and an anchor and this series here just has the eagle and an anchor but isn't that great that is really deep that is milled right into the case it's not just etched or anything that is look how deep that is so anyway this pushed me over the edge to buy it i just thought that was absolutely amazing I love, you know, just like the, uh, if you've seen the Citizen Echozilla, it's got a very high relief like this one of um, a diver with a, the old school or very deep diving helmet, which I think is just phenomenal. I, I, I like when they do that in the bags. Anyway, that's what this has. And uh, so many other features we're going to go over now that, uh, that made me buy the watch. Well, that's just gorgeous, isn't it? All right, so let's get the specs out of the way and we'll see where we're see where we're at with the size before i forget let's do a wristwatch check and today i'm wearing my citizen promaster tough if you haven't seen my review on this watch it's really a nice watch uh, for the money it's meant to be tough it's uh anti-magnetic 200 meter water resistance it has a sapphire crystal ion plating case and it's got a polyurethane with bonded nylon or ballistic nylon or cordura nylon strap very comfortable just a really nice watch it's a great grab and go i wear this all the time all right so getting back to the review at hand and also i thought i'd throw in another edc i carry this every day in my left pocket when i leave the house this is a sinkovich designed um zero tolerance all titanium knife it's a frame lock like chris reeve very light and this is my left pocket carry so i have the clip on the other side it's a, a flipper beautiful knife so i thought i'd show you that I'll try to show you some another EDC item with all my watch reviews if I can. All right, so that's that. All right, so let's get the specs out of the way and see what where we're at with this watch. So this is a 45 millimeter in diameter case, 23 millimeter, an unusual 23 millimeter uh, lug to lug instead of 22, 24, or 20. They got to be different and do 23, but I think because the proportions are nice, I think it fits really nice. I think 24 would be too big, and they thought 22 is too small. Um, so we got 52 millimeter, a uh, uh, kind of long 52 millimeter lug to lug from here to here is 52. And it's a not very high for a diver, 13.2 millimeter thick. So just over 13, which I think is uh, perfect for a diver. It's not too thick at all. And the weight is 4.2 ounces on the strap. There's a version called the 4222 that comes on a stainless steel PVD coated bracelet, a lot more expensive to make that watch. And so that's a lot more expensive. This one is $690 retail, and that one is maybe closer to $790. Yeah, I think it's like $800 watch because of that bracelet. And there's also a 422, this is 4221. There's also a 4221 CW, 
and that one has a NATO type, a black NATO type strap. So you can get those different versions. There's also a 4223, that's the SOC version, uh, version or SOC, that's Special Operations Challenge, and that is an event that they hold where non-Navy SEAL member uh, people try to compete in these games that they do. And uh, so they have one of these watches with the SOC, and that comes with two different straps, and it comes in a nice case, and it comes with a, a tool to switch the straps out. Uh, there's like a pin tool. Uh, that comes included with that. Otherwise, it's the exact same watch, except it says SOC in this area down here. And there's an eagle right there. So anyway, so those are the, the specs. Uh, it's a 316 stainless steel case, and it is, um, it's all PVD coated. It's a really nice PVD coating. It looks like it's very, very thick. Really nice. Um, it's a satin type um, brushed on there with the PVD coating over it including the crown so unlike their other watches if you've seen or held Luminox watches before I think that their steel watches are in a whole different league here's an example this is the only polycarbonate one or whatever you call it that I have this is the recon it's very light and weight uh, and the reason why I like their stainless ones uh, like this one is right here as well and I'll be doing a review of my color mark soon um, is because they're all, this is a Swiss made watch, all stainless steel case, stainless steel screw down back, stainless steel screw down crown, 200 meter water resistance, just like this one that we're talking about today. So you're getting a stainless steel diver Swiss watch, uh, you know, in the 500 to $700 range. And I think that's a really good deal in addition to everything else that it comes with that we're gonna be going over. But here is the plastic version. And these are called, um, some of these are called turtle cases. Uh, you don't see it too much on this one, um, but I never really noticed that people are uh, that it's a turtle case until you turn it over. You know, if you look at the patty turtle and stuff like that, it's very similar. So, as you can see, it kind of looks like a sea turtle. Isn't that cool? So anyway, and this isn't quite that. It doesn't have the part over here, um, but it's. Uh, yeah, so it's all stainless steel. On this one, the bezel is stainless steel as well, and the polycarbonate ones, these are plastic. And so again, the whole thing is stainless steel. 200 meter water resistance, resistance as I mentioned, and the claim to fame for Luminox is those 25 year glowing radioactive tubes. So on this one here, you can see that the pip right here is loomed and has a, a, a miniature capsule down in that window. So that's going to be glowing. So when you turn it, you're going to uh, be able to see at night where your minute hand is if you're diving or doing any other thing that you're timing. The hands are loomed. So are all the indices you can see. And even the second hand, which I really like. I mean, for a diver or any other tool watch, I mean, the second hand in my mind has to be loomed unless you get a pilot's watch. And they normally aren't because they don't want to obscure the dial. But that has a really nice loom. So the loom are different colors. You could probably see it here. They're all green, except the minute hand, the hour hand. I mean, I'm sorry. The minute hand right here is going to be amber. And so is the 12 o'clock indices. And so is the pip. So when it's uh, pitch black dark, you can see how many minutes have gone by from where this is to where this has moved. So that's really nice, and we'll see that a little bit later. So this is a stainless steel bezel. It's a 60 click, not a 120. Very positive, very strong, and it's not. It'd be almost impossible to bump this and move the time. So this just stays where it goes. Now this is difficult to turn the bezel. This is one of the cons I'm going to do in the end that the bezel is difficult to rotate. Um, it just is. I mean, it's very stiff, very strong. There's like no play whatsoever. And I think that's the authorized for Navy use idea that it's, they want it to be difficult to turn, difficult to knock out of its setting. And so you just put up a little bit more. So as you can see from the side, that's a very, see how it's ramped? It's a very thin edge. And it's kind of a sharp edge. It comes to a, a sharp point here on the edge right there. And then it's got those little grippy things inside. And then these are a little bit sharp on the edges here. 
but I don't know if you can see that, but the edge, see that? It's not flat, it's a sharp point. So it's not that comfortable turning it. Uh, as a matter of fact, you have to grab into those little things there. Um, what I find wearing it on the wrist, pushing down, it's almost like uh, if you ever use the Mega Seamaster, that has hardly an edge either. And the way you do it, the scallops are on top. And you basically just push down and turn. And that's the easiest way to do this one. Uh, but if you do it a bunch of times, I take a walk and, and sometimes like I'll set it here to take a walk and then I forgot something in the house and now a couple of minutes have gone by, I gotta go all the way around again. You do that a couple of times and your fingers, I gotta admit it hurts a little bit because these things are, these edges are sharp here. So compared to this one, for instance, this other Luminox, this is just easy to turn. You know, it's not an issue. You could just do anything with it. Push down, grab the sides, grab here, grab the edges, and it just turns very easily. The same with this one. And you can see the edges on these. There's a more blunt edge to grab onto. You know, there's more of a blunt edge. This one actually has, see the ridges there? Really easy just to grab and turn. It's like, you can do it forever, and it has no fatiguing effect to it at all. Nothing there. And here's a Samurai for comparison. This one has a thinner edge. But it's blunt, it's not um, angled or anything, and it has a coin edge. And on this one here, when you grab it at the uh, up top and you're wearing it, it's just really easy to turn. This is 120 click. You know, you can tell the difference on this one. You can hear that. Very precise, nice clicker. Anyway, so that's the deal with the bezel. I'm not a big fan. Um, this is more subdued, as you can tell, from this one here. You know, so this one here could be like a crossover watch. You have a dive watch with you, but you could wear it on almost any occasion and it's not gonna draw the attention like this very, I don't know, bold. This is a very bold tool watch. You could tell right away looking at this that this is ready for, for diving, man. This is ready for function. You're gonna see that uh, almost anywhere, very high contrast. This has great indices, gray numbers, I mean, and gray uh, hands, gray paint. Uh, but this whole watch is exceptionally made. Everything about it is precise and no faulting the quality. If you haven't held stainless steel Luminoxes, you're in for a treat. These uh, Swiss made uh, watches, um, they're all Swiss made, I believe. Um, the straps, the case, the movement is a Ronda Swiss movement. We'll talk about that in a minute. But just exceptionally well made. And the bezel as well, those are all engraved. You can see the the numbers and indices. Those are, have a depth to them. And then inside is a shiny uh, gray paint. Very well. I mean, it's just exceptionally well done. You're looking at the uh, anti-reflective purple edges. You see that? That's um, the anti-reflective coating on the sapphire crystal. The lower end model Luminoxes all have um, regular mineral, mineral crystal. So this is, you won't be scratching this one up. That's just gorgeous. Um, as you can see, we got really bold, large Arabic numbers on the dial. We have the 24 hour ring in there. We have a bordered uh, date, very easy to see. No problems with legibility on the watch or the date. It's a quick set date. So that means you can uh, just skip ahead if it, for whatever reason. But they, uh, there's really no need to change the date except on uh, days that have 31. Obviously, you gotta uh, go in when there's 30 days and you gotta change it to the first um, when it's a 31. So yeah, quick set date, really nice. Uh, so the movement on this watch is a, a, a better grade movement than on the other Luminox watches. Like for this one, for instance, these are gonna be, uh, this is a 515 movement Ronda. One Joule, I believe, and this is a five Joule Ronda 750, 715LI for lithium. So it has a lithium rechargeable battery. I'm sorry, a lithium battery that's almost the size of the back of the watch. Not quite, it's a, I think a 2016. And it's a 10 year battery. Uh, so they, um, the specs say eight plus years. So you're gonna get at least eight years out of the battery on these watches, which is phenomenal. That's another great thing I liked about this watch is that it has a long battery life. You don't have to go uh, changing that too often. That's pretty amazing. So 10 year battery and a, and a five joule movement. So that's, uh, that's exceptional. It has a really nice crown, not too big or small. As you can see, it doesn't jet out too far, so it's not going to dig into your wrist, and the end is very smooth. 
Again, stainless steel, 316L all the way around, and that's gonna be uh, PVD coated as well, as you can see. It's got nice serrations that aren't too sharp. Really nice unscrewing it, no problem. Beautifully made uh, crown guards. Got some little angles there, as you can see. Because of the movement where it's located, you can see it's a little bit high above the wrist, so that's not even gonna touch your wrist cause any kind of a chafing or anything. Has a, has a nice crown pox, pop, though not very big crown pop, but it's there. Um, and it, this thing is very, very sturdy. There is like no movement on the stem. So extremely strong. So this this is authorized for Navy use. So I'm, I'm thinking that uh, shock, anti-magnetism, uh, ISO rated, all those things are gonna be exceptional on this watch. So that's what you're gonna see there. The strap is polyurethane. It feels like uh, silicone, but these new polyurethanes are really, really nice. Um, it has a beautifully made milled buckle, signed Luminox. It's also PVD coated. It's got two keepers. One, one of them is not captive, but there is uh, a place so it doesn't go further than this. So it's sort of captive, but not double captive. So you can move it. And that makes it easier to take the strap off. I got a watch where it's over here fixed and I have a hard time getting the strap off. I have to push it through. This one's not the case. And then this one's floating. So this way, if the strap is too long when it's around your wrist like this, it's sticking out that much, you could slide this up and it makes it more neat instead of having to stick out. So that's a really nice touch as well. If you look at the back, there are all these little micro circles and that helps to grip your wrist, but yet leaving air to go through so sweat doesn't build up here because you've got the nice little channel. You got plenty of holes to, for your wrist and it's gonna fit well over an eight inch wrist. They relieve the rubber strap as well, which is, which is awesome because it makes it really easy to swap out straps to a NATO or whatever else you're comfortable with. So that, that's really nice as well. Really nice touch. As you can see, it's a screw down back. Authorized for Navy use, stainless steel, water resistant, 200 bar, no, 200 meter. Swiss made. And there is the series, 4220 series, the 4220 series. Serial number, yep, really nice, really nice strap. All right, let's see if I missed anything here. There's so much on here, I kept some notes. Let's see what we got next. Let's take a look at the back again. All right, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up. That's the uh, 4221 Luminox. We're gonna show the Lum in a second. Let me just go over the other things here. All right, so the pros and cons. Pros, we got bright loom. That loom, oh yeah, let's talk about the loom a little bit. I already said the, um, the different colors. 25 years, probably 12 to 15 years, it's gonna get half as dim, something like that, somewhere around there as a half-life. It's still gonna be plenty bright. So a lot of people complain that these aren't too bright because they compare them to their Seiko, you know, obviously I'm gonna do that right now. So if you look, I'm gonna, I don't wanna blind you, there you go. And I just hit it for a second and you can see that's glowing in the daytime brighter than this is even glowing. But what happens is no matter how good your loom is, whether you've got some Seiko monster or something or whatever, um, those are gonna be much brighter. So if you compare sunlight hitting a super luminova or luma bright um, it's going to be really really bright way brighter by magnitudes than this but after 15 minutes to 45 minutes this is going to start surpassing those by far and this is going to sit, keep the, that same brightness all night long so you wake up in the middle of the night you're doing nighttime operations walking through the woods at night uh, i'm always thinking uh, post-apocalyptic like movies and stuff like what if I was in that situation and it's too dangerous to travel in the daytime you're traveling at night well this one here you wouldn't have to put a flash or anything you're seeing that time all the time and that's why it's a favorite these watches are a favorite uh, all the Luminox watches we'll throw a couple more here these Luminox watches are, are a favorite not so much with the with the actual Navy seals because these are expensive watches they tend to uh, do more fifty hundred dollar watches you know like G-Shocks and that kind of thing um, some do wear them, of course, and then pilots wear them. Uh, but you really see these watches in the hands of policemen, EMT, nurses, um, firemen, people that work 24-7. All these jobs, security, all these jobs are 24-7.
Uh, so no matter what they're doing, whether you know they're checking a pulse um, or doing um, chest compressions and timing things, they want to look at their. They don't have time to charge their watch or put on a flashlight if it's low light conditions. They can see that second hand glowing and moving in any light. So uh, for all these things, uh, please been you know ready to storm someplace at the exact time that they all synchronize their watches to. No matter what it is. You, they can see the, the, the watch day or night, and obviously in low light, even if the tritium isn't kicking in. Look how easy it is to see the time and the seconds and everything. So anyway, that's one of the big draws of these, of these watches. And so in the middle of the night, I've checked these watches, and they glow all night long. It doesn't matter, 5 o'clock in the morning or whatever, they're glowing. Um, if you get a watch like this, or any of the uh, citizen divers, they're gonna last all, all night too, but once you get to the six, seven, eight hour mark, it's gonna be pretty dim, but you can still read it. So it's still good, but nothing compares to uh, 24 seven type glowing as the Luminox uh, watches. All right, so getting back to the pros and cons, you got that bright loom, it's solid, overbuilt, soft, strong strap. Oh, and by the way, on these straps, this one, th this, polyurethane is thicker than their other Luminox watches. For instance, here's the Recon, and you can see they both start out about the same thickness, but these other watches, the strap is much thinner. Right there you can see it, and you can see how much thicker that is. Even on their Color Mark Stainless Steel series, I didn't know this until I got the watch. I looked, I read tons of reviews and watched reviews. There's only a couple on YouTube. Um, but nobody ever mentioned this but it is uh here's that one see right there and here's this one how much thicker so yeah very thick strap so i think they did that again they authorized for navy use and it's a heavier watch so even compared to this stainless steel one this is three and a half ounces total the straps weigh about the same because the buckle's a little bit bigger um but the the head of the watch on this one is heavier this is 4.2 and this is 3.5 so it's point seven ounces heavier on this watch uh, overall so everything about it is beefed up all right so the strap is uh strong and uh soft it's got an eight plus year battery life on the uh, pros and also the uh ar coated um ar coated sapphire crystal all right let's see if we can take a look at the loom it'll work. a lot of people that show the loom on the luminox is it, it doesn't really show up uh, but we're going to give it a try, and I'm going to uh, charge this one up first, like that. Obviously, the Luminox doesn't need that. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this a little bit darker. All right, I think that's going to work. All right, as you can see, let's say you're going to a dark situation, you charge up the watch. And there's a, a, a Seiko Samurai for a comparison. So it's going to be much brighter, like people say, but half hour later, this one's going to start surpassing this one. Maybe an hour. It depends on the watch. You know, those monsters, man, they have a lot of loom on them. So I haven't tested them, but there will come a time before an hour when this one's going to surpass. So let's get rid of this one. Let's look at this one up close. All right, so there you can kind of see the glow. You can see that uh, this amber one. So all you do is take this one here, line it up with the, so in darkness, you can just line it up with the minute hand. Let's say that you're doing an operation, you gotta walk 17 minutes down some wooded path at night. And without turning on a flashlight, you can just, like if you're walking to maybe moonlight or something, you can just keep walking. You can just glance down and you're gonna see the minute hand has moved. So let's say you set it right here. See, so right right away you can tell you moved uh, 14 minutes. And you don't have, because of the indices, you don't have to see the chapter ring. You can tell right now that's 14 minutes that you've walked or, or dived or whatever. So anyway, that's the loom. All right, so let's wrap it up there. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, tell your friends. Um, put that little bell notification on. I'm making a lot of watch reviews um, recently. I'm, I'm going to do that color mark probably next, probably pretty soon. And I'm also doing my uh, Tissot that I just got, my Tissot um, C-Star, the new version. All right, so as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.